Hey guys, Zaryu's dad here, and today we're going to talk about some tips for Sheep and the Shaman. We're also going to look at icy veining the priest and um, avoiding ice blocks before capturing the flag. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Dad, what are you doing? Get out of here. I'm doing a YouTube video right now, man. Come on. Jeez, sorry about that, guys. My dad was trying to do the commentary for you guys today. But anyway, we are not capturing the flag because this is not a rated battleground. This is Astromain's Fall RMP versus uh, Disc Priest, uh, Feral, and a Marksmanship Hunter. This is Jungle Cleave here. So right away, we get CC on the Priest with that kidney shot into the Ring of Frost with the che cross cheap shot onto the Hunter. But what I want to kind of focus this commentary, guys, on is playing around your win objective, right? Playing around what is actually gonna win you games, not playing the fancy stuff that you don't need to do, not doing strategies that you don't need, but really just focusing on that win um, objective, right? How you're actually going to take a win during that game. And that's what's really gonna win you games as RMP, right? You, there's so many swaps you could do that are just pointless, and there's so many things you can do that aren't gonna land you a kill, but at the end of the day, what is going to land you that kill? And um, a lot of that, guys, is trinkets, right? You want to keep an eye on the trinket. Right here, for example, the hunter used his normal trinket. He is human, so he has that second human trinket available, but he has no human trinket available for another 22 seconds, right? It'll come up at 1 minute and 30 seconds on his trinket. So we kidney the hunter and bomb him. These are our thought processes as, as we're going through this game. Who is the best kill target? What is our win condition, right? Um, what is our win condition and how are we going to play to that win condition as best we can? So we kidney bomb the hunter when he has no human trinket available the barrier does come out we get some cooldowns off from that so that's okay we're getting you know some cooldowns from that um, so now we either can go on to the feral druid we can go on to the hunter or we can go on to the priest the priest has no trinket for 30 seconds because he just uses human trinket something you want to keep in the mind i sheep the priest there he does death that or premonition it get a resheep onto the priest and we start to do damage onto the feral druid now um the hunter is still an option he still has the human trinket available the feral is still an option but he has trinket available the incarnation comes out beautiful pain suppression by my priest to keep me up alive um, during this time. Um, I might still be forcing my ice block here though at the end of this incarnation when it when it comes off here. There's my ice block. I got very low, had to uh, jump into the ice block. But look guys, priest has no trinket for five more seconds and um, the hunter has no trinket and the feral does have a trinket. So what's the best target? Um, probably the priest right now, right? So normally we wouldn't want to go priest. Priest isn't the best target, right? But we can go priest because he doesn't have a trinket for five seconds to force more cooldowns right from them if we go hunter he's just gonna human trinket if we go feral he's just gonna trinket again um it may be get that trinket in fact not even guaranteed so the priest if we want to win around our win condition is going the priest right here he doesn't have trinket for another second and a half here we get them into that full kidney shots he has trinket available right now so we could trinket the end of that uh, kidney or he can hold it for the next the roar sacrifice comes out but this is the orb this is the ice nova so much damage coming out the cold blood the gormas popping that rapture so much damage onto the priest into that bell of silence and the priest does go down so guys this is really just focused on that win condition we don't want to kill the priest right the priest isn't our first target of choice but the priest had no trinket and he was in a good position to swap to the feral and the hunter both were you know both had uh, outs available and we weren't going to win the game if we went on the feral or the priest right there or the feral or the hunter right there so we decided to go on the priest and got the kill a lot of people in the comments will ask how do you pick a kill target this is definitely how how do you win games as rmp this is definitely how let's hop into another one Okay, guys, this is a Boomkin, a Frost Mage, and a Resto Shaman here on the Grand Arena. I'm playing RMP with my same exact partners. And uh, here, we want to keep the same things in mind, right? We want to see who has no trinkets. We want to peel when we have to peel, but go offensive when we have to go offensive, and really go on the target that is the most vulnerable at that time. So here against the Shaman, we're looking at Earth Shield, and we're looking at trinkets, okay? Um, and positioning. So we'll look at all three of those things. Right away, I belf silence the Mage and the Boomkin because they pop Icy Veins, um, they popped beam and they popped their stun. So if I don't peel right now, my guys, my uh, healer Ams is gonna get absolutely destroyed. We get a double stun onto the DPS out of the Belf Silence. Beautiful job by my rogue to peel the mage trinkets. And we get a full sheep onto the shaman. So this is a uh, very good setup here. The mage might be forced into his ice block. That half sap and the quarter sheep a little bit overlapped, but the mage does uh, have to use his ice block cooldown there. And incarnation from the boomkin is about to fade as well. So mage has no block. Mage has no trinket. Uh, what's going through my mind at this exact moment in the game as far as win condition is concerned is we can kill the mage um, Since he's a draw mage. He's not a human. He has no trinket and he has um, Hypothermia for another 
14, 15 seconds, we have a, uh, a kill window uh, for a kidney shot and a smoke bomb onto the mage within the next 14 seconds before the next ice block comes out. That's what I'm currently thinking. Whether we actually do that or not is another story, and it looks like we're probably not going to do that because the shaman and the mage are very close together. So what's the, we talk about trinkets, we talk about earth shield, and we talk about positioning. Those three things are what you kind of want to keep an eye out for. Mage has no earth shield, he has no trinket, but he's, you know, kind of a bad spot. We kidney shot the shaman here, I go for the full ring of frost, I trinket the cyclone and get recyclone, so a little unfortunate. Mage gets pretty low here, he does have that second block available, he does have that earth shield. But now guys, the shaman has no trinket and he has no earth shield. So the shaman is now a really good target to swap onto, or the boomkin as well. So they all have no trinkets um so we basically just don't want to go with the guy with earth shield right so right now we're hitting the mage because he has earth shield um to kind of just bait that earth shield to stay onto the mage but we either are going to swap to the shaman or swap to the boomkin because no earth shield and no trinket that's definitely um you know what we want to do here and I want to talk about the setup kind of leading up to this next kill. We should win the game pretty soon here based on the current situation. So the Shaman has no trinket. We get a kick onto the Boomkin, a sheep onto the mage, and then a step kidney onto the Shaman. Really nice cross EC right here. Um, I popped on my orb, the common storm, the ice nova. I counterspell the boomkin on cyclone as well. So the mage is in a sheep, the counterspell is on that cyclone, and the full kidney bomb onto the shaman, and he does go down 100 to 0. So, guys, the kill target it keeps changing throughout the game based on earth shield against the rest of the shaman's trinkets and positioning. I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're setting up your kills. The third and final game here for today is Windwalker DK, our shaman, um, here on Tiger's Peak Arena. We're playing once again the same RMP starting off the game in invisibility um, kind of pushing in and uh, right away I want you to know that the shaman is playing troll so if we did want to swap to the shaman definitely not a bad target if he's orc he has that stun reduction but he does have earth shield so we don't want to open up into the earth shield if we can help it a good opener would here would either be a sap and a sheep or a, a fear if we can't get the fear or a ring of frost on on more than one target so we'll see what happens here ring of frost comes out actually on all three so this is just like the dream opener this is actually freaking awesome so we're gonna open up onto the dk he's gonna pop icebound fortitude i get paralyzed as well from that monk before the ring of frost actually hit big ebon bolt icy veins onto the monk but he does reflect it with karma onto me so now i'm under pressure since that karma dot's about to go once these guys connect i'm probably gonna pop my temp shield uh defensively let's see what i do here get i get gripped and paint up trying to hold my block but i have to so instead of blocking i might have been able to shrink at temp shield at high life and save that ice block but now i still have shrink at temp shield for the next go and i did use my ice block and and we used our pain stuff so defensively we're actually in a world of hurt but this monk has no trinket we could definitely go for a kill onto the monk because he has no trinket and no earth shield so we could probably kill him in a bomb or something like that um we'll see what we actually do here getting damage onto the dk uh we swap on we get a full blind into the full sap onto the shaman and we swap on with a kidney shot onto the monk as the monk's getting very low but he does get healed by those healing spheres and the shaman does trinket link so now we get Trinket Link from the Shaman, we get uh, Trinket from the Windwalker with Karma. So the, the Windwalker and the Shaman are both kill targets. We swap onto the Shaman, he gets extremely low here, uh, just a couple percent life, but he does pop his Ascendance cooldown, he's going to top himself back up. And now I have to Cold Snap and I might be forced in my second block here, getting very scared. Um, so the Shaman or the Monk, both potential kill targets. Um, right now in this game. But I, I want you guys to really pay attention in this next minute or two as this game goes on about who we're forced to go on and why because that's what i really want you guys to understand so right now we're thinking okay we can either swap to the shaman in nine seconds after the stun he does have earth shield okay so since he has earth shield and he's on stun the air maybe get cc onto the shaman to go on the monk these are all the things i'm kind of thinking through um in my head i'm um, getting icicles off onto this dk trying to just get some damage out we get a full fear onto the shaman trying to follow it up and like i said we want to go either shaman or monk right because they both have no trinket dk has no icebound fortitude but he still has that trinket available but look at where the shaman and the monk are what did i tell you guys it's about positioning trinkets and earth shield right the earth shield is on the shaman so we don't want to go him the trinkets are on don't the shaman doesn't have a trinket the windwalker doesn't have a trinket so we want to go them but look at their positioning they're way too far i cannot get over there so we decide instead of chasing them down start hitting the dk the full fear comes out onto the shaman um he has to sit that entire thing the mind control comes out the half mind control comes out after that into the full sheep onto the shaman now the dk has no trinket the dk has no icebound fortitude he's getting very low i get gripped my priest is barely saving my life right here um get that full sheep into the half sheep and then the dk goes down just to my rogue so guys 
you don't always know what you're going to kill going into a game as RMP. When I when you guys say, what should we kill as RMP versus Windwalker DK? I don't know. You can kill any of the three. What should we kill against Demon Hunter Warrior? I don't know. You could kill any of the three. Keep in mind, Earth Shield if you're fighting a Rester Shaman. Trinkets um, and positioning and just general defensive cooldowns as well to add on top of that. And then I hope this really helps you as a guide to decide who you're going to kill and to play onto your win condition. Guys, I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to thumbs it up if it was. You can thumbs it down if it wasn't. That's okay too. Hope you enjoyed the little intro there from my dad, even though he didn't know what he was talking about. I thought that was great. Talk to me in the comments below for what you guys want to see next time. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!